Our out-of-this-world lead is way out of this world, 390 light years away. In fact, for context, one light year is equivalent to six trillion miles. In the quest to discover its origins, humanity has set out on a journey to determine the birth of the universe. Through their calculations, scientists had calculated the age of the universe to be around 13.7 billion years old. However, the James Webb Space Telescope, with its unblinking eye, has just detected a glimpse of a structure that predates the birth of stars, a celestial object that appeared to be older than the universe itself. Now, this discovery is raising more questions than it has answered. How could something be older than the universe itself? Were our calculations wrong? Is the Big Bang Theory still relevant? Join us as we uncover how Hamas Webb Telescope just detected a 13.8 billion year old structure. In a distant corner of the cosmos, roughly 200 light years away, there exists an ancient star called HD 14N0283, nestled near the Libra constellation. This stellar traveler moves briskly through space, offering intriguing glimpses into its tumultuous past some 12 billion years ago. Yet what truly captivates our cosmic curiosity about HD 140283 isn't just its speedy journey, but its astonishing age. Among the celestial entities we've observed, it stands as one of the oldest, earning the endearing name Methuselah Star, similar to the biblical figure Methuselah, who, legend has it, lived for 969 years. Initial estimates pegged its age at a staggering 16 billion years. But the latest calculations suggest a slightly younger 14.46 billion years, with an uncertainty of 0.8 billion years. This age revelation puzzled astronomers. After all, the age of the universe, deduced from the cosmic microwave background, hovers around 13.8 billion years. And how did they calculate the age of this star? Well, astronomers tagged it with a crazy old age by checking out its cosmic neighborhood. Stars can be split into categories based on how much heavy elements like iron they have. Our sun is a bit of a metalhead, belonging to the population I stars. Methuselah's star, on the other hand, is like an old school rock star from population two, rocking fewer heavy elements. It's this stellar metal count that helps astronomers play cosmic archeologists, deciphering the age tales of these celestial beings. To understand this concept, let's break it down. Rewinding to the universe's early days after the Big Bang, imagine a cosmic kitchen filled mostly with hydrogen and helium, like the universe's basic ingredients. Now, in this cosmic symphony, the first actors on stage were the population AI stars. They were massive and hot, burning through their cosmic fuel, swiftly transforming hydrogen and helium into heavier elements. When these early cosmic giants exploded, they scattered these heavy elements into the vast cosmic space. Next in line were the population two stars, forming a bit later but still in the universe's early days. Their original materials were light on heavy elements, especially iron. Many of them danced through their stellar life cycles, bursting into supernovas and adding more heavy elements to the universal mix. Finally, the population I stars, including our sun, emerge as cosmic latecomers. They formed from enriched gas clouds, mingling with remnants from the earlier population the Sexens Tu stars. Now, here's where it gets mind-bending. Instead of scratching our heads about whether Methuselah's star could be a couple of billion years older than its galactic neighbors, let's flip the cosmic script. What if the universe itself isn't as young as we once thought? Astronomers determine the universe's age by peering at ancient starlight, born a few hundred million years post-Big Bang. As the universe stretches, it gives this light a cosmic makeover known as redshift. Crunching the numbers on both distance and expansion, scientists declared a universal age of 13.8 billion years. But hold on, because the cosmic plot thickens. A cosmic whisper from the University of Ottawa suggests the universe might be a whopping 26.7 billion years old. Professor Rajendra Gupta from the University of Ottawa brings in a vintage theory from 1929, crafted by Swiss astronomer Fritz Zwicky, and it's shaking up our cosmic understanding. This theory throws a curveball, suggesting that as light particles called photons 
journey across the vastness of space and time, they lose some of their energy. Even though this idea doesn't perfectly align with what we've seen through our telescopes, Gupta proposes a cosmic compromise. He thinks we can blend this theory with our existing idea of an expanding universe, creating a sort of hybrid explanation for the redshift phenomenon. Now fasten your seatbelts, because adjusting the universe's age to a whopping 26.7 billion years is no small feat. Gupta adds another spice to the cosmic mix by combining the tired light theory with the concept of evolving coupling constants, a brainchild of theoretical physicist Paul Dirac. This concept suggests that how particles interact may have changed over the eons. Now let's take a cosmic journey back to the 1970s when astronomer Vera Rubin and her cosmic crew set out on a stellar adventure. Their mission? Studying how stars dance in other galaxies. Now the cosmic model suggested that stars on the outskirts of a galaxy should be slow compared to the stars near the center. You know, like how Neptune takes its time circling the sun while Mercury is speedier. Here's where the plot twists. Rubin and her stargazing squad uncovered a cosmic surprise. Stars at the far reaches of galaxies were moving at nearly the same speed as the ones closer to the cosmic dance floor. This cosmic revelation hinted at the existence of something mysterious and hidden. Now zooming in on our cosmic backyard, the Milky Way, recent measurements hint that stars on the outskirts of our galaxy are strutting their stuff in slow motion compared to their counterparts in other galaxies. And what's the reason? Well, there are a couple of theories, and one one of them suggests that our Milky Way might be low on an invisible cosmic ingredient called dark matter, the elusive substance influencing the gravitational dance of celestial objects. Here's where the European Space Agency's Gaia satellite steps into the spotlight. The satellite's precise measurements have led astronomers to rethink their cosmic models. Stars at the outer edges of our Milky Way seem to be moving slow, challenging our old assumptions about their speeds. Now how do star speeds tell us about a galaxy's weight? It's like gauging the size of a crowd by how fast people are moving. Astronomers armed with Gaia's data estimated the combined weight of our galaxy's gas, dust, stars, and that elusive dark matter to be around 200 billion times our sun. It sounds like a lot, but here's the plot twist. It's about five times less than we thought. One theory to untangle this cosmic riddle suggests we might have been a bit heavy-handed with our dark matter estimates. Maybe just maybe there's less dark matter out there than we previously assumed. But hold on, weighing a galaxy is like nailing jelly to a wall, notoriously tricky. The Gaia data might have a few quirks, or our cosmic measuring tape might need some adjustments. Still, multiple research teams have joined the celestial investigation and they all seem to be humming the same cosmic tune. If this cosmic revelation holds, it's like opening a new chapter in our cosmic physics textbook. Meanwhile, in other galactic tales, stars generally follow a similar rhythm, dancing from the center to the outer edges at comparable speeds. But the Milky Way seems to be a rebel dancer. No other galaxy has shown this particular slowdown. However, some researchers think there might be more to this celestial slowdown story. Scientists believe that beyond Gaia's cosmic magnifying glass, there's a cosmic frontier waiting to be explored. Astrophysicist Lena Nesib from MIT, one of the cosmic sleuths, suggests that stars farther out, beyond Gaia's cosmic grasp, might be staging their stellar speed show. It's like an intergalactic balancing act. If some stars are slowing down, others might be revving up in the cosmic race. Lena Nesib has a hunch that the cosmic show might have more surprises up its celestial sleeve. To add cosmic spice to the mix, there are stellar remnants, the celestial echoes of smaller galaxies and star clusters that got a bit too close to our Milky Way and ended up torn apart by its gravitational prowess. These stellar streams paint a cosmic picture in line with the hefty approximations adding another layer to the cosmic mystery. Then there's the enigmatic Large Magellanic Cloud, a galactic companion orbiting the Milky Way around 160,000 light-years away. This cosmic sidekick is behaving just as expected, dancing to the tunes of standard dark matter models at a staggering speed of over 650,000 meters hour. However, in the Cosmic Detective Agency, skepticism is a guiding star. Astronomer Robin Sanderson from the University of Pennsylvania creates virtual Milky Ways on a computer, mimicking what Gaia might see. 
She points out that these cosmic plots hinge on certain assumptions, like the shape of the Milky Way's dark matter distribution, which could sway the results. She urges caution in drawing solid conclusions from the current cosmic clues. In our cosmic quest, researcher Hammer is excited to peek at other galaxies and check if their stars slow down, like in our Milky Way. It's like exploring space neighborhoods for a similar stellar show. This exploration is a normal part of science, a bit like putting together a puzzle where patience is key. Despite our high-tech tools like computers and space observatories, we're still cosmic detectives with about 95% of the universe wrapped in mystery. It's like having most of the puzzle pieces missing. It's an endless adventure where every answer brings new questions, making sure our cosmic exploration never stops.